Morning for any viewer that's watching my YouTube channel. Welcome. It's Ethan J coming at you guys live from this video. We're doing incredible transformative work on my channel. Um, aside from my just woken up out of bed face, if I'm very transparent with you guys, I've been a little sloppy the past couple of months in terms of my diet, performance, sleeping mannerisms, uh, carp um, compartmentalizing or, or taking in intellectual uh, information and rather uh, taking action on it. Uh, but I do want to start making YouTube videos that'll address certain topics that I'm studying right now um, that I find incredibly fascinating. And one of the biggest ones, aside from obesity, aside from weight loss, aside from fitness, strength training, um, and you know, really optimizing muscle mass and hypertrophy, uh, one of the concepts that I've really been involved with in learning is ADHD. For those of you that might not, or might have picked it up already, or might have seen it, or maybe I've mentioned it time and time again, um, um, I, I do have the slightest of ADHD. Um, when I was younger, I didn't understand what ADHD was, and I used it as a sort of badge to kind of you know, blame the shortcomings of my life on. But in this, in life, if I could teach anything to anybody that's young out there, you, there's never a time when you should do that. There's never a time when you should use um, a symptom or an illness, uh, unless it's really a disability, um, to stop you from being able to attain uh, greatness in this lifetime, right? And what I mean by greatness, I mean things like uh, being able to attain a master's degree or a high level of education or being able to attain business success or being able to attain a fantastic radical physical uh, composition, right? Whatever whatever that might be for you, um, you should never allow limitations uh, and verbatim be the, the catalyst for why or the reason for why you can't attain something, right? It's hard work and determination that's gonna get you to your goal and I needed to hear those words when I was younger um, and I, I, I will die by those words now because I know of the importance of said words. Interesting. Somebody moved my camera, my, uh, my side cam, my uh, side dash mirror. Interesting. Sorry about that. That's ADHD right there. Anyways, I love everything that God has made. One of the most important things that I, I'm, I'm addressing now in my in my uh, in my life is I'm going to try to figure out ways to use ADHD to its full potential right and I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you guys I'm not a doctor by the way I'm not a lawyer or, uh, you know a specialist guys give me one second Anyways, um, one of the things that I want to teach with my YouTube channel, sorry for that, I apologize, is I do want to help people get to the best shapes of their lives and help fix anatomical issues that people are going through um, on a scientific level, from a, a from a layman, so somebody that wasn't intellectually gifted in understanding kinest, uh, kinesiology or anatomy, and that has a pretty messed up uh, anatomy, not terribly, I'm grateful for everything I have, um, and helping people with, with those sorts of things, right? Being transparent. I also want to teach people about how you can maximize ADHD to its fullest and the things that you shouldn't do. So for this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what you shouldn't do with ADHD, right? The mistakes that I made when I was younger, right? And why these tips will be crucial, crucial in helping you maximize your uh, disposition, right? So the biggest thing guys I want to I want to kind of uh, help you guys out with and remember with ADHD uh, from my from my opinion I'm not a medical doctor I don't have I'm not a sociologist or a psychologist or I don't have a I'm not a psych uh, a psychiatric specialist I'm, this is just a dude who is living in the regular day world who works I work multiple jobs um, I'm 28 years old I've kind of seen things you know uh, in a certain perspective um, 
The ADHD mind has a tendency to derive dopamine from things very easily, right? I see that within myself. Um, and as I see it, I am also well aware that it is a big problem. We can derive dopamine from many things, right? Dopamine can arrive, derive from sexual pleasures. It can derive from food. It can be derived from drugs, narcotics. It can be derived from um, it can be derived from uh, stimulants of some of some, of some of some sort, and it can also be derived from uh, risky behavior, right? Now. Because I have, I have had this ADHD mind and I had a tendency to kind of run towards play rather than delayed gratification, right, or logical thought, I've continuously grown um, to run towards the pleasure, not towards things that are of more importance, right? This has severely limited my quality of life. And there's ways to fix this. So by the way, if you think I'm, 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 I'm calling myself a victim or a coward or a fool, none of those things. I'm just teaching you guys some things that I wish I knew sooner so that I would have been way ahead of the game. I'm still going to be a, a, a winner in the game. It's just going to be a little bit, it's going to take a little bit longer than I thought. And that's all that it is. So don't, so long, here, here's what I'm saying long story short. Don't do drugs right don't do drugs if you have a mind that's linked to ADHD and you have a hyperactive attention deficit disorder uh, or if, if that's the abbreviation um, I could it's probably attentive hyperactive atten I'll have to get the abbreviation for it anyways you have to remember that your mind is very easily uh, uh, under stimulated and you'll find things that will that will that'll allow you to receive dopamine from useless things. So cannabis, alcohol, nootropics, uh, caffeine, right? Uh, what else? Um, MDMA, right? Molly, ecstasy, uh, lean. These things, right? While they seem that, like they're not a big deal, they literally will destroy and deprive you of your your mind's full capability um and not only just deprive you of your mind's full capability but it will harness your mind uh and do a lot more damage than good an adhd mind underneath uh, a, a a stimulant is far more suspect sus, uh susceptible to riskier behavior than a, 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 a brain that is correctively neurologically uh and cognitive uh, has has access to its executive cognitive functions and it can perform perform them well right so in in simpler terms don't do drugs because you make really dumb decisions when you do drugs when you're when you have adhd adhd means that you are poor you're you can be poor at planning you might be very impulsive you might have a tendency to indulge in things too much right and you have a tendency to de not delay gratification and rather pursue it right away <laughs> instead of saving for the dollar and getting two tomorrow you rather get the dollar now even if it means getting one dollar less and the part the journey of of a person with an adhd mind is to well ideally mine i'll tell you my journey is i want to master my disposition i don't want to label it and call myself weak and call myself a coward and and blame myself for not being able to attain success. Actually, I'm going to use everything that I have, every bit of me, my curly hair, my teeth, my smile, uh, you know, the fact that I'm from an island, whatever it is, all my, all my attributes to my complete advantage, right? And that's why I'm making this video because you can see things as a limitation or you can see things as a gift and of course, I, I read I read a really good comment. Uh, some people say that ADHD is a gift. I'd rather I would like to give that gift back, and I find it so funny because I relate to that so much. I would love to not have ADHD, but there are some benefits to it. If you've ever felt like you're lonely or you're isolated or your mind just keeps on going to so many things, um, 
or that you know you you kind of feel lost in the sauce you feel different from people that's very normal to feel i felt that for a majority of my entire life i've made very impulsive mistakes i've made very very quick rational decisions um and i've made mistakes that have harmed the people around me and not just harmed the people around me but also um destroy the integrity of my own character but the beauty of of age and forgiveness and growth and change is that you can change the actions that you have taken so that you can, you can become a person that you never were before right and that's the whole moral of why I'm making this video you know um, we as human beings we have the capability of change of acknowledging weakness right of acknowledging problems and then making radical decisions to change those things to become better you might not be able to change what you already are but you can maximize what you have right and you can maximize it to become the best version of yourself right and that is something that not only you can do i can do and one day i will want to teach people that have limitations and low self-esteem on doing as well too right so a few, these are the don'ts of ADHD. Don't do drugs, right? Don't get in, don't get involved with getting your dopamine from very cheap places, i.e., um, food or you know uh, entertainment. Another good thing I'm going to make this video. It's very uh, hypocritical, uh, but don't like younger version of me. Uh, don't watch too much entertainment. Don't play too many video games. Don't get obsessed with uh, YouTube because uh, the dopamine that you derive from YouTube and entertainment will keep you enamored, right? The, you can play a sport by yourself and be in love with the sport and be immensely captivated by that sport playing by yourself, not realizing that it's better played with people. And, the reason, and, and that's okay too, but the reason why your mind does that is because you enjoy the simpler things and you get you derive dopamine from things far more easily than others so if you want to be somebody that attains very worthwhile goals things that require very systematic approaches to them right whether it be a master's degree or a bachelor's degree or a great physique right or a great body you're going to have to start to meticulously plan ahead of the time so that you can get to a goal that is worthwhile in life, whether that's a full bank account, whether that's a great partner in a great relationship, um, whether that's a, a, a more rounded skill set, whether that's, you know, um, um, learning a new language, you're going to have to have a very systematic approach and that system and that uh, uh, ability to minus out the distractions so that you can focus on the things that matter most to you is what's going to help you attain the goals that you're seeking right anything else right anything else is gonna is gonna harm you right and what I mean by anything else I mean by choosing to allow things to go to the whim and the wayside in essence you have to be more of a planner than most people right but you do have some strengths your ability to shift from one task to another might be a little bit better than most people your ability to navigate in certain rooms might be better than most people uh, you might have a better personality, might be able to bounce off and be more resilient, you know, when it comes to uh, interpersonal issues or it could be problems within, uh, it could be problems within your relationship. You might be able to bounce back better than most people. Um, and on top of that, above all else, um, life life is always a fresh breath of fresh air for somebody with ADHD. You wake up every single day feeling like the world is a new world. Right, and I've, I've come to realize that myself. So a quick breakdown, again, one more time. Um, don't do drugs. Don't dabble in um, gluttony. Don't dabble in pornography and masturbation. Don't derive any type of dopamine from an electronic sources. And that is just a, a very good tip that I really wish I could have taken advantage of when I was younger. And I, I, I take that very seriously now. Don't watch TikTok. Uh, don't download TikTok. Don't invest into Instagram. Uh, be mindful of your in, uh, online consumption uh, uh, of, you know, of information and, and entertainment. Uh, be mindful of where your energy shifts to and have an outline specific goal for the things that you want to attain 
and make a very deliberate 1% increase or step towards that goal every single day, right? Don't, and, and oh, uh, one other thing, live in a realm of humility, right? Constant be, constantly be learning um, on your craft, constantly be investing on your craft, and constantly be seeking for ways to, uh, gotta love drivers, man, you gotta love drivers. Anyways, um, constantly be seeking ways to optimize your performance, right? And optimization might not always be about adding something, right? That's a big thing that I had to learn. Optimization might be to ref, uh, might be the process of refining something, right? Refining and then also closing down, right? To allow for ways to optimize uh, uh, your uh, your performance to its best capability, right? So just a little tip for you guys that are out there uh, with ADHD that kind of feel like, you know what, these doctors and these YouTubers that don't have ADHD have great advice, but they don't kind of fit well with me. Here's somebody that actually, uh, I do follow on the spectrum lightly, and uh, I wanted to share with you quick tips, a couple tips, right? And I, I can tell you a couple do's on the next video. I wish your day goes great. I'm about to start work. Stay blessed, stay blessed, and be greasy. Um, yes, I said stay blessed twice. ADHD is not a limitation. It is not a reason to stop trying in life. It just means that we have to try a little bit harder than most people. But everything in heart, everything in life is worth the hardship. Just remember that. Don't give up.